Hey folks, so welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. So we're going to talk about uh, 2020 some more, a bit. The idea of uh, 2020 being a year of mastery, yes? So if you're like me, you like to perhaps listen to 10 or 15 minutes of a good conversation, perhaps before you go to bed or on the way home from work. So we're just chatting here in this sort of more informal uh, kind of uh, interaction. So uh, we said in our podcast, in the astrology of 2020, the astrological cycles of 2020, that uh, this year, 2020, is a year that demands of us a lot individually and collectively. There is a sort of rising to the occasion that this year 2020 really involves. There is a stepping up, a, a mastery, a leveling up that this uh, year requires. And, you know, we're just, we've just arrived at the end of the month and already there have been just so many things that are circulating globally that uh, present uh, their own challenges. We have this idea of the coronavirus, people being in states of fear around that uh, most recently and quite tragically. Uh, we have uh, Kobe Bryant's tragic death along with his daughter and seven other friends. So we are dealing with a lot, a lot of bombardment uh, in terms of just things to have to cope with uh, collectively. So 2020 is a year that, particularly in terms of the symbolism of Saturn-Pluto and that conjunction, it's a year that requires a lot from us in terms of mastery. We spoke about the idea of uh, creating reality Saturn from a consciousness of greater empowerment Pluto. So uh, the idea of taking a look at where we've become disempowered, our collective and individual uh, relationship to power questions such as, you know, who have I given away my power to? And, you know, uh, the idea of taking more responsibility for creating your reality, Saturn, from a place of more inner power. So Saturn invariably asks of us the idea of management, the idea of responsibility along with Pluto. It's like you're managing these sorts of vast reserves of psychic energy, deep energy, uh, sort of, uh, well, how do I manage this? How do I control it? How do I uh, master it? That's the question there with Saturn Pluto. So uh, collectively, it's like this, and I don't know if you feel this in your own personal life, but the idea of constantly being given things that require uh, just this idea of a refinement of your own thinking. So situations cropping up that are essentially an invitation into more mastery. And that comes along with, well, how am I thinking of this issue? What's my perspective on this issue? So uh, in the wake of Kobe Bryant's tragic uh, a death, uh, they were interviewing, yeah, obviously, several of his friends and colleagues, and I forget which one now, but one of them said, you know what, I have to look for the right perspective to hang on to so that I can put one foot in front of the other as I try to move forward with my life. So the idea of what perspective, consciously and deliberately chosen, are we going to sort of embrace so that we can uh, you know, go forward. And that's the idea of Saturn taking more responsibility. We've been in this sort of very Saturnian time. The year opened on a very Saturnian Capricornian note. So, you know, invitation into more mastery through deliberate choice of perspective. And as we uh, go into the idea of the nodes changing signs. Now on the Gemini or approaching rather the Gemini Sagittarius axis. And of course, I'm going to be talking about that. I'm gathering my thoughts on that to put out some content on that soon. Very interesting stuff. But the idea of the axis of perception, Gemini and perspective. So what perspective Sagittarius am I applying to what is perceived? Gemini. 
So the idea of what do I choose consciously as an interpretive framework to the facts presented. And that task is very much involved in the question of how we approach this business of mastery, mastering our energy through deliberate refinement of our perspective, deliberate refinement of how we choose to focus our perception. Very important. And especially through this idea of, you know, being bombarded with so much to cope with, what perspective am I going to choose? So it's like in your own life, just thinking about this question, uh, whether it is challenges to do with relationships, challenges to do with money, whatever the issue is, it's like this year is requiring more of mastery. So the idea of there being more testing, uh, Saturn, Pluto conjunct can certainly bring our attention to the deepest of spiritual tests, what is demanded of us uh, spiritually and emotionally. Yes. So uh, this idea of uh, spiritual tests and how to respond to that and the response being how do I choose the right perspective to apply? So the mastery, the arc of mastery involves, let me choose a perspective that can soothe my emotions. Because a lot is happening in our world that is testing our ability to be emotionally stable. And of course, we know that as we've spoken about on several occasions, we have this idea of Uranus in Taurus. Uranus there disrupting uh, our sense of psychological safety, comfort, and security, all of those being very Taurian things. So a psychic sort of disruption, uh, this unsettling of our ideas of constancy, safety, and security. So that sort of being uh, the general tone there of Uranus as it enters or as it has been in the Taurus field for a while. Taurus likes the idea of constancy, safety, security. So this idea of this uh, being unsettled just this week, uh, two days ago, uh, we had an earthquake here in Jamaica and it was, I think, about 130 or so kilometers off uh, the coast. So it was 7.3, thankfully. The epicenter was where it was, but the idea of a shakeup and shakeup Uh, psychologically shake up literally and it's interesting because while shakeups can of course be uh, psychologically destabilizing but uh, the other side of this is that some people will use shakeups to become uh, more psychic Uh, they will use it sort of paradoxically to become more stable sort of knowing how to respond and find your own inner center of stillness in the face of what would be uh, disruptive on the outside. And that's, again, going back to Saturn, Pluto, a sort of inner power, inner stabilization, uh, inner, let's say, concretizing or crystallizing of your own power on these sort of deep internal levels in order to be able to manage in situations that are quite destabilizing. So it's that sort of uh, inner shoring up, that inner buttressing of power uh, on the inside that allows us to meet the collective moments that we're in. So, you know, in other words, folks, don't be surprised if this year requires a bit more stretching of you psychologically. So you may have found that, okay, fine, in a given department of your life, you've gone up to a certain level and you're doing well. You've gone up to a certain level and you're doing quite well. You've mastered your own energy uh, in terms of a given department of your life. But this year is saying, okay, well, a bit more is going to be thrown at you in order to invite you into more mastery and more refinement in terms of how you manage your own energy, how you manage your own power. And then this going hand in hand with uh, 
like we said, a refinement of your thinking. So how does mastery of my own energy go along with a more deliberate choice of perspective? And that's what we're facing in terms of just, uh, you know, the lessons inherent in the nodal axis now being along the Gemini Sagittarius uh, Axis there, the idea of perception and belief, perception and perspective, and how these two interact. So that's what we're in. So, just to give you a bit of reassurance there, that if you feel like you're in already this uh, kind of period or zone of testing and a bit more stretching. It's what 2020 is sort of about. There are lots of rewards to be gained uh, by embracing the task of testing. And we spoke about the idea of this Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto, triple conjunction being sort of symbolic of the rewards that Jupiter of taking on our Saturn Pluto tasks, the task of uh, creating reality Saturn from a consciousness of more empowerment Pluto and the rewards that we gain from that Jupiter. So there is a sort of, uh, yes, reward to be had at the end of it uh, when we decide to face our collective Saturn Pluto tasks with an amount of bravery and a good attitude and uh, sort of mastery. So that is where we're at. So I'm just sort of, I guess, encouraging you all to stay steadfast, stay steadfast in things that are testing you and sort of reach down for the deepest inner resources that you have, because that is what this year is about, a reaching inward for the deepest uh, resources inside of you and sort of buttressing that, going to the places inside of you that uh, have uh, an ability to really meet the most testing conditions and the place inside of you that is able to respond uh, with mastery, uh, with refinement, uh, with dignity and with grace. So that is what I'd like to just leave you with here today uh, as we continue to uh, face the days of 2020. So just a bit of encouragement there for you folks. So until next time, speak again soon. Bye.